Today is iPhone day part two, as I like to call it, where the iPhones are finally on sale and available to purchase. So naturally, I went up to Pheasant Lane Mall in tax-free New Hampshire. New Hampshire, thank you, I love you, I appreciate it. Where I went to the Apple store to pick up the new iPhones and do an unboxing video to find out what comes included in the box. In this video, I'll be unboxing the iPhone 11. I'll have another video where I'm unboxing the iPhone 11 Pro. So if you're interested, you can check that out right there. Uh, but let's dive into it. So this is it. This is an unboxing of the Product Red iPhone 11. We have the back of the iPhone 11 on the front of the box. It says iPhone on the right side, iPhone on the left side. Bottom, we got that Apple logo. The top, we also have an Apple logo. Let's now peel this. Ooh, on the back, you can also see the Additional information about the product, product red, 64 gigabytes, and all that other good stuff. So let's now peel this plastic off, float it out of the way, and here we have the box. Opening it up, we are greeted with that brilliant, wow, this is a this is a bold, this is a bold product red iPhone 11. Something new this year, so there's no protective coating on the back, so if you touch it, you will immediately get fingerprints on it. Let's just... Do that amazing plastic peel away. And here we are. I really, I really love that black and red combo. I think it looks great with that black screen. Kind of hides the notch a little bit. Of course, when the screen is on, you'll see it loud and clear. I do like how the black on the front of the display matches the black cameras on the back. I think this is a really cool look. Very stylish and sleek. Let's see what else we get in the box. Already I can see uh, something unique to this one is a product red piece of paper. Uh, this provides additional information about product red. I'll just read this to you. It says, in partnership with red, Apple will contribute a portion of your iPhone purchase to the global fund to support HIV AIDS programs and help deliver an AIDS free generation. Learn more or donate at www.red.org. I don't really need this iPhone 11. I'll be honest, I'll probably either sell it um, or do something like that. Uh, but I did want to contribute to fighting AIDS and, and producing or helping support that red organization. So that's what you get. Apple stickers, hello, SIM, eject tool, all that goodness. Um, and you get to feel pretty good. We have our Apple ear pods. Unfortunately, these are not the AirPods. They end in a lightning connector. They'll basically only work with your iPhone. In my opinion, this is a huge disappointment. I would have preferred to see ear pods that end in a regular 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and an adapter. That way you could at least use the ear pods with your Mac computer or other devices. Uh, but alas, these basically only work exclusively with iPhones and iPads that use lightning. You'll also find a USB to lightning cable. You probably have a few of these lying around, nothing major here. And in my opinion, the biggest disappointment of iPhone 11 is you get that standard five watt power brick. It works, it's functional. I would have loved to have seen at least a USB type C to lightning cable. That way you can use your new iPhone 11 with a new Mac laptop, but no, you get a standard USB connector here. Um, and I also would have preferred to see the 18 watt fast charger that Apple included with their iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, this enables fast charging so you can get what Apple claims is 50% battery in just 30 minutes. That is really awesome for the people who purchased the iPhone 11 Pro, but unfortunately, uh, you don't get it with the iPhone 11. So that's what you get in the box, your ear pods, your lightning cable, your product guide, SIM eject tool, your five watt power adapter, and of course the phone itself. Let's get these out of here and take a look at the phone. What I love about the unlocked iPhone 11 is that it ships SIM free, ready to use with your SIM card of choice on the plan and carrier you choose. This allows you to choose an off-contract provider like Mint Mobile, Tello, Twigby, or Ting, or even Visible to get a data plan that meets your needs at a significantly more affordable price uh, than the other options out there. For example, Mint Mobile, you get eight gigs of data for 20 bucks a month, or Visible, unlimited LTE data on the Verizon network for just $40 a month, so there you go, this is the Product Red iPhone 11. Uh, it's got that 6.1 inch liquid retina HD display. Let me quickly set this up so you have something else to look at besides the cycling hello words here. In the middle of the setup process here, iPhone 11 also has a true tone display, which means it can adjust the color temperature of the display depending on the surrounding ambient lighting. 
I think this is a great feature, really makes the display look easier on the eyes and in my opinion, more color accurate. Uh, so I, I actually love having that turned on. Um, you can also now choose a dark mode with iOS 13. That's pretty cool. Again, easier on the eyes. I like the standard configuration. Let's go home. Let's look at these gestures. Welcome to iPhone. Here we are. So again, that 6.1 inch Liqua Retina HD display. Of course, on the back, you have the new dual camera setup. These are the same camera sensors found in the iPhone 11 Pro. You have the standard wide angle lens with a 26 millimeter focal length, and you have the new ultra wide angle camera lens with a 13 millimeter equivalent focal length. That's really cool to see. The wide angle camera lens is super fun to use, and having dual cameras now enables you to use portrait mode on animals as well as people. Okay, I just tested out the new camera system quickly, and I can confirm you can now take portrait photos of other objects along with people, animals, and pets. You can now take it on just everyday objects like the, well, I, I took a portrait mode of the iPhone 11 Pro here, but you can take portrait mode pictures of basically everything. This is a wider angle portrait mode than you would get on the iPhone 11 Pro because you have the wide angle and the ultra wide angle lenses and you're lacking that two times telephoto lens, but they are really fun to play with. Here is a behind the scenes photo of the setup I'm using right now. This is with the wide angle. This is with the ultra wide angle. You can tell you get a significant amount of additional detail in the shot. It's really fun to play around with. It's really cool uh, with a great battery life, a pretty good display and some fun new cameras. I think iPhone 11 is gonna be a really great phone to consider if you're in the Apple ecosystem and looking for an upgrade. So there you go, that wraps up this unboxing video of the iPhone 11. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up down below. Consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And of course, stay tuned for my best cell phone plans video for the iPhone 11 so you can find an affordable cell phone plan to meet your needs. I'm Stetson, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.